Hi guys. So today I'm going to be telling you why I decided to switch from Adobe Premiere Pro to Kden Live. If you're not familiar as to what those things that I mentioned are, they are actually softwares for video editing. I feel like it's relevant to you because the events that led me to make this decision are pretty common. If you've ever attempted editing videos or if you're currently editing videos then you probably would have come across these issues. I originally started editing from this desktop that I have here right now. It's not the best. I bought it with the intention of building it up but I haven't still gotten up to doing that. So currently it has RAM of 4 GB and uh, it doesn't have any dedicated memory. There's no graphics card on this. I had the idea of editing photos and editing all my video stuff and doing my music things with this PC. And from the aspect of editing photos and doing music, it served me pretty well. But when it comes to videos, especially using Premiere Pro, I've been encountering a lot of problems. All right, firstly, I'm just going to talk about something that all of us encounter, and this is a lag. When I open up any video in Adobe Premiere Pro, like it lags a lot. It lags to the point that you can't even see what's happening. You, you kind of have to guess how you're putting things into the timeline because you can't really watch it through and confirm because of all the lag. So I'm going to try and fire it up right here for you to see. You, you'll see even just opening the software will take uh, a lot of time. So why don't we go ahead and do that? I'm now opening it. A few moments later. Yeah, I've been waiting for like a bunch of time now. One eternity later. So if this was some other software or maybe if I had like a better machine, a better rig, by now it would probably have opened. But as for me, I have to wait literally like, it seems like forever because it's not opening. Eventually. You might think that it's, it's happening now, but not really. That's just the first portion of loading. It still has a long way to go. Uh, Look at this, I'm still waiting. Alright, that was just to demonstrate how slow it is. In my line of work, time is the biggest factor. Like, how many videos can I be able to dish out at the end of the day? That's the biggest issue for me. And with my current rig, Premiere Pro is just too much for my computer to handle. So maybe I was thinking that I should downsize to Kden Live. I just decided to humble myself, I guess, to move to something that is on my level. So I started getting problems with Adobe when I started editing like 4K clips. It would reach a point that literally I couldn't render out any videos because every time I would try to render, it would result in some sort of error. Okay, so let me just give you some of the reasons that I decided to be working with Kden Live from today onwards. First of all, like the biggest reason is that it's free. So there's nothing better than not spending your money and having something to show for it. Okay, another reason is that it has a similar layout to Adobe Premiere Pro. I feel like it's less tasking on the CPU because when you're doing some effect or when you render the video, it generally takes faster than Adobe Premiere Pro. And also, most of what you need is uh, available in the software. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to primarily be using Kden Live for editing, like all my timeline things and maybe even for color grading. But if I feel like it's lacking in color grading, then I might have to take the footage over to Adobe After Effects. But I'm going to mainly try to base it on Kden Live because I don't want to deal with like three-day renders from After Effects. So long story short is probably all the videos from today until maybe I think otherwise will have been edited in Kden Live. I will also be documenting my findings. Like if I come across anything that I feel like is not there and maybe it's useful to Kden Live users, then I would be posting it. So in light of all of that, if you've ever come across the issues that I had, would you consider switching from Adobe After Effects to Kden Live? Write down your answer 
on the comments and tell me if you would consider switching from Adobe After Effects to Caden Live. Finally, I want to thank you all for watching and if you have not already subscribed, then you can consider subscribing. You can also like and share the video and don't forget about commenting your answer down below. Thank <laughs> you.